Hello everyone, we are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews here, and my mom got the Shark Navigator Liftaway ADV, you can see everything right there in the model number yourself, I don't really don't need to say it for you, um, but it's the uh, it's that model, upright vacuum, and we're going to pop it open and see what's up and see what it looks like, so let's do an unboxing right now, and then we'll do a review on what it sounds like and uh, how it cleans up and stuff. This is kind of what it looks like. Um, we'll spin it around, give it a look-see. <clears throat> you guys can pause it, obviously, and see everything else it has. So, uh, what is it? Duo clean power fans, fix up more dirt in every pass. All right, so this is the first time that we're getting it with this, uh, <clears throat> the brush <clears throat> rollers that aren't supposed to, uh, you know, get uh, clogged up. So self-cleaning power brush, it says it comes with, there's a five-year warranty. Um, the vacuum that cleans itself is what they claim, so hopefully it does. And if, did I show this side? I think this is the last side. So that's the last side and it lifts away so you could do stairs and do all that kind of mumbo jumbo. Oh, oh, okay. So it's two tools in one. It's the one that has the felt here, or it's I guess you put it put it in like this, and then that you get the brush. Clean. Huh? Is that to clean? Or it's to clean the brush. I guess you can clean it as well with the brush separately if you get like hair in it and stuff. Hair. Okay. So that's that's a tool right there. It says shark, so it's probably right. Oh, here it is. Here's the groove. All right, so I guess it goes like this. And that's it. Okay, let me pull it back, I guess, because it's too. Yeah. I guess they don't tell you on the front box. All right, so let's, uh, so I think this thing, right, just clicks. That clicks into there. That goes up and clicks into there. So this just, does it have to be pointed up or can we see up to here? Or I gotta go back a little bit. If I go to here, can we see or no? We can see. Okay. So... All right, so that's pretty much an unboxing review that we're gonna do right now. Um, What's it called? This this is your dust release, but we are going to go over more detail of what the details are. Let us just uh, look at the instructions so we're not wasting your time on the video. All right, so we'll be right back with Glenn Velvet Reviews, and we will... All right, everyone, we're back with Glenn Velvet Reviews here. We got Miss Riley in that back little house, and uh, we're going to vacuum. I threw some Cheerios over here. We're going to get the wire off, vacuum, and see how it is, and I'll go over some features that we saw where they are, so you guys have an idea what's up uh, with the vacuum before you guys decide to buy it. All right, guys, so I got my amp, amp meter, watt meter, so I'm gonna see how it um, performs and let you guys know to tell you guys the amps and the watts as well, so you guys know what's up, even though I know you probably don't care, some of you, but I'm still gonna do it. So, how you're gonna make this go down and we're gonna make this vacuum is you just put your foot on here and you just kind of bend it down and then it just goes. See? So there's no more of that clickety-clackety stuff that you're supposed to be doing. All right? So that's kind of what's up, and that's kind of how it, it's going to go down. Now, if you want to lift it away, there's a lever right here on the, on the, on the left of the machine. You're going to hit that lever with your foot, and then you can lift this away and go on the stairs and go wherever you want without the uh, power head on the bottom. So um, then when you're going to put this back down, you got to make sure you put it in a little tight. Don't just like lay it in there, it won't click in. And then like, see, if you just lay it in there, it won't, it won't be, uh, it'll still come off, see? Still came off. So what you have to do is kind of, you know, make sure you hit it in there nice and tight and then it's good, good to go. All right, so the power buttons, yes, you already know about. So this thing is now locked from here. If you want to unlock it and get off the, uh, you know, the, the multi-tool piece or whatever the hell, the stick, whatever you want to call it, there's a, a button right here, unlock button. You're gonna hit this unlock button, it clicks down, and then this comes right out. And then you can use this to 
vacuum the floor, vacuum this crap, or vacuum up in the ceiling if you're gonna do your drapes and everything like that. Also on this, you can put your attachments. These are where your attachments go. It only holds two attachments. You can't put on that other one they give you. I don't know what to tell you. So these go on really easily and they just kind of slide on. I showed you before, this comes off, also has the brush and then has the uh, felt over here as well. So it has that and then this just kind of, you know, clips right on just like that. This does not telescope, telescope, whatever you want to call it, go up or down, that's it. It does not do that, it is just this. If you do want to use the smaller portion of it, you would have to go like this and then put your attachments on here. And then all you would do is just take this off put the attachment on there, and then you can do your couches and stuff like that. Pretty simple um, design that they have. So that's it, and then these would slide on as so. So we're gonna put this back in like this, I think. I don't know, this way how it goes. So it's gonna go like this, and then you're gonna put it back in. And like the same thing, you wanna make sure you, you know, really put it in there because, you know, otherwise when you lift it, it'll fall down the stairs, and then you got a broken vacuum then there's no point. So that's kind of how you lift it away. I showed you about the, uh, you have a suction max, suction, suction minimum, I guess. You can pick the power that you want. I, I'll show you guys the difference and see if I see a difference or whatever the case may be. Um, so that's it. So they included this little rubber thing, I guess, to make this bend easier. I'm not really sure. Um, and then we're gonna just go over the filters and how you would clean those. So first you're gonna have to take off, oh, if you need to empty it out, we'll go over that first. So if you need to empty it out, the levers are right here. You're going to pull up, and then it comes off like so. You're going to tap the button when you're over your garbage pail. It's going to open up, and then all your crap and your debris is going to come out. Everything's plastic in here, so it looks like you could probably clean this in the sink, let it dry for, you know, 24 hours or however long it's going to take to dry. And then, uh, then that's it. If you want to open up this part, there is no little button or anything like that. You kind of have to go over here and pick up, and that's it. You go in here. Then you can clean out uh, hair or whatever like that. I couldn't get this piece out, so it doesn't seem like it comes out. Maybe it does if you read the instructions or do something else. But I did not see uh, how it does, um, you know, come out. So um, uh, you got the foam filter on the top. It doesn't matter which way you're going to put it. That goes in. This this one, the pad filter, might be directional because they did the, the sides are different. So I am putting it in this way, the way they gave it to me. Inside uh, is the motor. That's all. Your motor is going to be in there. As you can see, it's really just plastic or, you know, there's plastic housing in there. So that just goes in like that. They said to clean those every so often. I don't know, it depends on how dirty the air is around you. So I guess that's how it's gonna go. Then there's another filter over here. You just lift your, put your fingers under here. It pulls right off the front. And then there's another filter here, which clicks off and you clean out. Same thing, clean it out however it gets dirty. I guess you should also probably clean out the plastic over here as well. So this just push, pushes back in. You need a little bit of force to push it back in, just to let you know. It does not go in easily, and everything just snaps on. So that's about it. That's like a better review of it. Now you guys can see. We'll go on about what it sounds like when it's on. First, I'm going to put this on like this. All right, so for the initial turn on, uh, I guess for the capacitor, the star capacitor, whatever, it goes to 8.5 amps, okay? And then it drops to about 7.5 amps and it kind of stays there. It's going to depend on how big, big the debris is, how hard this is working, then your amperages are going to go all over the place. That's just to give you a generic, um, you know, just a generic uh, number for you guys just to toss in your head. That's all it's for. Oh, you know. So I'm going to put this on hard floor. We're going to suck up these little Cheerios here and see what's up. And then we're going to put it on carpet and suck it up on these two foot by uh, two foot by two foot um, square commercial rubber back tile. All right. So let's get to the going here. Right, hard floor first. Okay. So this is going... Over just like that, okay. 
pulls them up really nice. I mean, it's not a big mess, like I said. This is just a little review, generic review. Uh, you still gotta hold the cord in one hand like you normally have to do on any vacuum. And that's it. So, pretty much, yeah, this is for hard floors. So that on, on your carpet, the bristles speed up, okay? Just to let you guys know. Here we go, carpet. Wow, you can feel the bristles. It's pulling the vacuum forward. That's how powerful it is. Like, literally, look. It's pulling the whole vacuum forward. That's how powerful the bristles are. Okay. Oops, sorry. I want to just try. Oh yeah. yeah it so it's kind of so it's off right now. Here's all the all the Cheerios that are in there. You saw them flying around. You saw the color that kind of got you what you know. See what? All right. So there's no other option than that, and that's it. Oh, they have lights on here. If it blinks red, that means something's broken. Look in your manual. If it's blinking green, that means it works. So just to let you know, it does tell you. You will see when it's broken. It, that means the 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 brushes aren't spinning anymore. That's all that means. So you could see that. If, I mean, if you're not, you know, whatever. Everything for Glen Velvet Reviews on the vacuum that my mom got. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up other stuff to help out the community, just like I get help from the community. All right? Riley, say bye. Bye, Riley. Bye. Riley's saying bye. No, she's not, but whatever. And I'll see you guys later. Enjoy. Well, Julie might say bye. Bye, Julie. Bye-bye. Look, Julie, there you go. What bird do you know waves? You tell me, YouTube. Come on now. What smart bird waves and then even gives you a little, a, a little dance? All right, that's Julie right there. He's probably older than your kids. All right, bye-bye.